Lorax, the 2012 movie script. Hello everybody, thanks for coming. I am the Lorax, I speak for the trees, and I'd like to say a few words, if you please, regarding the story that you're about to see. It actually happened, just take it from me. But there's more to this story than what's on the page, so please pay attention while I set the stage. We open in Thneedville, a city they say that was plastic and fake, and they liked it that way. A town without nature, no one living tree. So, what happened to them? Cue the music, let's see. Buzz buzz. In Thneedville, it's a brand new dawn with brand new cars and house and lawns here in got all, got all that we need, Ville, in Thneedville. We manufacture our trees. Each one is made in factories and uses 96 batteries. In Thneedville, the air is not so clean, so we buy it fresh. It comes out of this machine. And satisfaction's guaranteed, Ville, in Thneedville. We don't want to know where the smog and trash and chemicals go. I just went swimming. And now I glow in Thneedville. We have fun year-round. We surf and snowboard right in town. We thank the Lord for all we've got, including this brand new parking lot. Parking lot. Oh, look. It's Isaias O'Hare. Isaias O'Hare. The man who found a way to sell air. And became a zillionaire. Hip, hip, hooray in Thneedville. We love living this way. It's like living in paradise. It's perfect. And that's how it will stay. Oh yeah. Herein, love the life we lead, Ville. Designed to succeed, Ville. We are all agreed, Ville. We love it here in Thneedville. Yes. Oh hi, Ted. Oh hi, Audrey. Hi. Did your ball land in my backyard again? What? No. A model airplane this time? Hey, do you want to see something cool? Come on, whoa, do you, did you, did you paint this? Do you like it? What? Are you kidding? This is amazing. What are those? Those are trees, real ones. They used to grow all around here, and people said the touch of their trucks was softer than anything, even silk, and they smiled like butterfly milk. Wow. What does that even mean? I know, right? Oh yeah. What I want more than anything in the whole world is to see a tree, a real living tree, growing in my backyard. So, if say, I'm just thinking out loud here, if a guy somehow got you one, I'd probably marry him on the spot. I bet that sounds crazy. Does that sound crazy? No, not crazy. Not crazy at all. Ted, honey, don't play with your food. You either, mom. So mom, do you happen to know if there's any place where I could get a real tree? Ted, we already have a model tree. It's the latest model. Yeah, but I mean a real one that glows, grows out of the ground or whatever. You know a real tree. Really? You would rather have some dirty, messy lump of wood that just sticks out of the ground? And it does what? I don't even know what it does. What's its purpose? Look at what we've got. It's the Okomatic, the only tree with its own remote. Summer, autumn, winter, and disco! Mom, come on, Ted. Get into it. Dance with the tree. Oh, it hurts. Mom, please stop. So anyway, let's just say I need a tree. Where would I go? What would I do? Then you know what? You need to find the one slur. The what? Mom. It's not really the time for one of your magical fables, okay? That's right, I forgot. I'm old and I can't even remember to put my teeth in. Stand down. That's not what I meant. No, really, I forgot my teeth. Would you be a deer and go get them for me? Sure, Mom. Okay, here's the deer. The Wunzler is the man who knows what happened to the trees. You want one? You need to find him. The Wunzler? Mm-hmm. Okay, Grammy. Is this a real thing that we're talking about? About now? Oh. He's real alright. Well, where? Can I find him? Far outside of town. Where the grass never grows, the wind smells slow. And sour when it blows. And no birds ever sing. Excepting old crows. 
quit doing that. That's the place. For the ones that lives. Wait. Outside of town? People used to say, if you brought him 15 cents, a nail, and the shell of a great, great, great grandfather's nail, he would tell you everything. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. O'Hare. What we've got for you is something that is going to take O'Hare air to the next level. Now, Mr. O'Hare, I know what you're thinking. One, I've gotten rich selling people air that is fresher than the silky stuff outside. Two, and here's the important one. How can I possibly make even more money? We can tell you, sir. We can tell you. Check out this commercial, huh? Well, here goes. Another lame Saturday. Dude, I don't think so. Huh? Hey, man. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. O'Hare puffed it air. Freshness to go. Please, please, responsibly. Uh, oh, goodness, yeah. Love it. You gotta be kidding me. You really think people are stupid enough to buy this? Our research shows that if you put something in a plastic bottle, people will buy it. Exactly. And, and what's more, when we build a new factory to make the plastic bottles, the air quality is just going to get worse, which will make people want our air even more. And drive sales where? Through the roof. So in other words, the more smog in the sky, the more people will buy. See, that's why he's the genius. It even rhymes. I'm aware it rhymes. Coats, big. What do you two knuckleheads want? I'm in the middle of a meeting. What? Why is he leaving town? No one ever leaves town. See what he's up to. Whoa, huh? Whoa, whoa. Oh, man. Whoa. All right. Okay. What the? Whoa. Who are you? Wh who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm Ted. I'm Ted. I can't breathe. Are you the one slayer? Oh, man. Didn't you read the signs? No one is supposed to come here. Get out of here and leave me alone. And don't you let the boot hit you on the way out. The boot? Hello? Ow. Listen. People say if someone brings you this stuff, you tell them about the trees. No, no, no. Trees? Yeah, real ones. You know, that grow out of the ground? Hello? Sorry. It's just, well, I didn't think anyone still cared about the trees. Well, that's me. The guy who still cares. I'm here. Hey, what? Do you know about the trees? About what happened to them? Why they're all gone? It's because of me. Wait, what? It's because of me! And my intention, with the need, it was an amazing product. I could do the job of a thousand. All right, it sounds ridiculous, but I mean, cool. Your dollar right, it was cool. It all started a long time ago. Can we start not so long ago, maybe? Do you want a tree? Yes, yes. And it all started a long, long time ago. I was a young man. Living home, where I would go, Mom, off to change the world with my need. I'm actually doing it. Yes. But just remember, we want to see. If somehow your invention ends up a failure instead of a snacks, oh, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Nice wheels. Burn. Ow! Yeah! Burn! We will see, okay? I'm going to prove you all wrong. Come on, Melvin! So there I was, at the very bottom. With nothing but a wagon, a mule, and a completely irrational sense of optimism, I was searching the globe, obsessed with finding the perfect material for my need. But I'd had absolutely no success. Until one day, I found paradise. Oh, we're going to be there soon, I'm sure. Whoa, this is the most beautiful place, okay, I have ever seen. Oh, ta-da, whoa, yes, this is it. This is the place. These truffle trees are just what I need. I'm gonna chop one down and make my need, but first, now you, that's great. So now our friendship can begin, hand in hand, and wing and fin. There's nothing you and I can't do. So let's all make my dreams come true. Hey guys, come on. Where's my backup chorus? What, aha, oh, oh, hey, hey, wait, wait a minute, excuse me? Yeah, that's awesome. Feeding junk food to forest animals? That's great. But, uh, is there a musical number where you 
show me how to get a tree? Because I would love to hear that one. Oh yes, right after the musical number about the kid who kept interrupting the story! And was never heard from again. Right, got it. Proceed. Alright, here we go. I'm making it need. I'm about to change the world. Check it out, guys. Where did everybody go? Well, I know. That by dropping down that tree, I just summoned a mystical creature as well as time itself. The legendary, slightly annoying, guardian of forest, the Lorax. Hey, whoa! Did you chop down this tree? Uh, no. Who did it? What's that? I think he did it. Leave! Vacate the premises! Take your axe and get out! And who are you? I'm the Lorax, guardian of the forest. I speak for the trees. So tell me, you just didn't see me magically appear out of that stump? With all the lightning and thunder and stuff? You didn't see any of that? No. Because that sounds amazing. Can I see some of that? Uh, yeah. I can show you. That's not how it works. Okay, um, didn't really happen. Oh, I know what you want. I got one of these for the cutest little guy I ever saw. Yummy, 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 yummy! How dare you give me that? Mm, I'm going to eat this, but I am highly offended by it. Here, you hey. Mustache, will you stop that? What's your deal, man? Time for you to go. Bean pull. Pull them right out. I'm just going to put them right back in. We can do this all day. Stop right there. Stop it. So you would hammer one of nature's innocent creatures? What? No. I would never hit this little guy. You, on the other hand, I would. Gladly pound you and your mustache into the ground. Behold the intruder and his violent ways. Shame on you. For shame. All right. You know what? That's it. You listen to me, you furry meatloaf. I'm going to chop down as many trees as I need, okay? Newsflash, not going anywhere. End of story. Then you leave me no chance. If you're not gone, by the time the sun sets on this valley, all the forces of nature will be unleashed upon you and curse you until the end of your days. You have been warned. Thanks. Yeah, okay. You have been warned. I didn't listen to his warning. And you won't believe what happened that night. What? If you want to hear more, come back tomorrow. Hey, wait, wait. Tomorrow? Whoa, whoa, ho, ho. Are you serious right now? Ah, you live in the middle of nowhere. It stinks out here. Don't make me come back. I guess you don't really want to hear about the rest of the story. No, no, I do. I really do. I want to hear your story. I just... Nah, you don't have what it takes. Goodbye. Wait, wait. I have what it takes. It's all right. It's okay. I'll come back. It's no problem. See, here I am. Leaving. Walking away now. I'll see you tomorrow. Mmm... Maybe, just maybe. What did you wish for, Audrey? Well, I would love to tell you, but sadly, according to universal wish laws, I cannot. I know what she wished for. Was it perhaps this? Teddy, you didn't. Oh no, I totally did. Happy birthday, Audrey. Kiss him, kiss him. Ted, Ted, Tedster. Huh? You're kissing the cereal again, hon. What? I just, I, I, I like this cereal. What? What is this? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll make sure to buy extra next time for you. All right, cool. Hey, I got to run. I got to go do a thing. So I'll see you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going anywhere, young man. It is Sunday. You know what that means. Family time and we're playing board games. But, hmm, oh man, mom, seriously, every turn. Hey, back off. Oh no. Okay, family time is over. It is now personal time. I'll be in my room. Okay, dear, high fun. I knew. I could break her. Go, huh? See you then. Oh, yeah. You rule. Thank you, friend. Whoa. Hey, Ted. Right? Um, Mr. O'Hare? So, I hear you have become interested in trees. What's that all about? Oh, um, where did you hear that? Oh, Teddy. There's not much that goes on in Sneedville that I don't know about. Here's the deal. I make a living selling fresh air to people. Trees? They make it for free. So when I hear people talking about them, I consider it kind of a threat to my business. I don't even know what you're talking about. You listen to me, boy. Don't go poking around in things you don't understand, or I'll be your worst nightmare. I'm Frankenstein's head on a spider's body. Yeah, um, 
Okay, my mom is expecting me, so I'm just gonna go. Uh, of course, of course, now go back to your family game time. Grandma just finished her turn. How did you know? Please. I have eyes everywhere. Huh? You got a beautiful town here, Dad. That's fun stuff to occupy your short attention span. Why? I can't think of any reason why you would want to go outside of town again. Ever. Okay, good talk. Really, good talk. Oh no, look out. Hey man, you know, you need to change that doorbell. Oh, you missed me. What? You're already back, clearly. You missed me a little, right? No, I didn't. I'm just here to hear the end of the story. Why are you so interested in trees anyway? Why aren't you? Like other kids. Break dancing and wearing bell bottoms and playing Donkey Kongs. Yeah, right, right. I don't know. Uh, I just thought it would be kind of cool to have one, you know? Huh? It's a girl, isn't it? What? No! Really? Because when a guy does something stupid once, well, that's because he's a guy. But if he does the same stupid thing twice, it's usually to impress a girl. Hey, she's not some girl. She's a woman in high school. She loves trees, and I'm going to get her one. Aw, how nice to see someone so undeterred by things like reality. Thank you. All right, but where'd we leave off? Now that's a need. Not unmanly. Nothing unmanly about knitting. No, sir. Look at that. Oh, who taught you guys how to steal a bed? Shh. Okay, nice and easy. Nice work, you guys. Couldn't have done it without you. You gotta be kidding me. He can swim? Of course he can't swim. Hang on, Pipsqueak. I'm coming to get you. Hey, you fishies. Stop that bed. Woo! Woo! Jump, jump. Come on, get up there. Come on, go, go. A little bit more, a little bit more. Now what? Mm -hmm. Get up there. Okay, Pipsqueak, give me your hand. Come on, reach out for the Lorax. Where'd you go? Bob Lutes. Oh, that's bad. Hey, Beanpole, wake up! What's happening? Where am I? Hey, we got trouble, and it's coming up fast. Woo! We're in a river. Woo! Oh, no. Just do something. Help is on the way. No, no. Just a minute. Oh, no. Wake up, wake up! Yuck! Clear. Ah! I was heading into the light. And you pulled me right back. And here I am. You saved my life. Yeah, I know. Well, no. It's not that big of a deal. It is a big deal. Look, I almost went over that waterfall. Wait. On my bed? How did you get my bed into the river? Uh, about that. Actually, I put your bed in the water. I didn't mean you any harm. I just wanted you to calmly float away. Look, everyone here needs the trees, and you're chopping them down. So we've got a big problem. All right, look. I hereby swear that I will never chop down another tree. I promise. Thank you. But I'm going to keep my eye on you. Good. And I got a big day tomorrow, so I'm going to get some sleep right after I find my bed. Ow! Okay, what are you? Question. What are they doing here? And follow up, if I may. What are you doing here? Well, after the incident last night, we found one of your socks and came here to return it. But when we got here, you were asleep. What? Ew! Exactly. And sleeping is a body's way of telling other people to go away. I know. But you looked so cozy. And it was cold outside. And we just fell asleep. No harm done. No harm done? No harm done? Okay, okay. I put my lips on those. Well, I used to anyway. Ew. Did you just... In my bowl? Why do you have one of these? You don't even have a mustache. Okay, that's it. What? I thought we made a deal last night. Yes, we did. And I said I wouldn't chop down any more trees. And I was going to keep my eye on you. I'm starving. What's for breakfast? Breakfast is overrated. You know what? I got work to do. Yeah. I got to go into town and sell my need. You chopped down one of my trees to make that piece of garbage? Look at that, garbage? Oh no, oh no, you do not get it. This is a revolutionary product that will change the world as we know it. It has a million uses. Look at it, it's a swimsuit. Mud tracked all over your floor by uninvited guests. Well, the need sure comes handy for that. But wait, there's more. Thanks to its all-natural microfibers, the Thneed is super absorbent. It also works as hat, of course. You probably want to wring it out first. Go ahead, knock yourself out. But nobody is going to buy that thing. Good to know. Well, fortunately, you are not the target market, weirdo. You're buying, you're bringing a guitar? Oh, yeah. 
I'm gonna have a little jingle. I'm gonna blow some minds. I'm gonna sell some sneeds. Yeah, everybody needs a sneed. A fine thing that all people sit down and go on. Unfortunately, I didn't sell it the first day. The sneed is good. The sneed is great. Hey, or the second day. Hey, or the third, or fourth, or fifth day. Okay, that one hit the tender spot until finally that's it. You know what? I'm done with this thing. Oh, my family was right. I quit. Hey, cool cat. Oh my gosh. I totally want one. That thing makes me look like you more. Hey, where's your sneed? Did you sell it? Hey, no, no, didn't sell it. Turns out it's ahead of its time, I guess. Hey, you gave it your best shot, right? What more can you do? Come on, take a seat. We'll do you in. What are we playing? I'm playing poker. He's playing gillfish, and I think he's hungry. Oh, pancake. The pancake up. Who is up for nines? Oh, 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 whoa. All right, pass them over. Yeah, see? What's going on? Oh, no, that's a lot of people. Everybody needs a thneed. A fine thing that all people need. The thneed is good. The thneed is great. Let's hope that we're not too late. It's super trendy hat. It's a tightrope for an acrobat. A net for catching butterflies. A thing we use for exercise. Everybody needs a thneed. A fine thing that all people need. Everybody needs a thneed. Oh, yeah, we're in business, baby. We need a thneed. Mom, hey, it's me. I told you I was going to be a success. You need to bring the whole family here right now. We're going to be rich. What I'm telling, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Don't worry. So, has he told you how to get a tree yet? Actually, no. But I think he's going to get to that part really soon. Here we are. What? I'll just be a minute. Oh, wow. Hey, Audrey. Oh, hi, Ted. What's up? You know me, just cruising, putting out the vibe. Just me and my thoughts. Oh, is this the girl you're always talking about? Grandma, stop making things up. She's even prettier than, okay, got to run by. Okay, Grammy, let's get you home. Yeah, whoa, I'm so sorry, so sorry. I did not want to see that. Whoa, 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 ho, ho. Hey, hey, I'm back. What have you got there? Yes, whoa, thank you, Ted. Now, Picture this, sun shining, a blue sky, a perfect day. It was all downhill from there. Whoa, what a dump. Hey, Aunt Griselda. Hey, Chet. Check this out. Go on. No, Brett, that's actually not a... Okay, go on, go on. I got it, I got it, got it. He totally ran into that tree. Ow. One C, is that you? Mom, there he is. There's my big, suddenly successful son. We all knew you would make it, One C, right? Hey, I love this guy. But you always said I wouldn't amount to anything, remember? Hush your mouth. I was just trying to motivate you. I am really glad that you clarified that because it actually hurt my feelings for a long time. Anyway, you're all here. You all work for me, and that's cool. So let's get to work. Brett, Chet, set up the RV. Would you stop throwing that bear? Time out. Back up. Stop. Don't move an inch. Nobody's moving in here. You got to go. Goodbye. So who invited the giant furry peanut? You calling me a peanut, huh? I'll go right up your nose. Whoa, 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 you wouldn't hit a woman. That's a woman? Okay, everybody cool it. Let's not get off on the wrong foot here. Um, family, this is my friend, acquaintance. Yeah, acquaintance, very good acquaintance, the Lorax. He speaks for the trees, that's right. And on behalf of the trees, get out. Will you just be nice? This is my family, and I'm going to need their help if my company is going to get bigger, okay? Bigger? Yeah. This isn't some rinky-dink operation anymore. I got plans, big plans, a vision of a world filled with needs. It's going to be huge. Which way does a tree fall uh, down? A tree falls the way it leans. Be careful which way you lean. I mean, look at this. It's amazing. I am so proud of me. Once he, we've got us a little problem, problem, mm-hmm. See, we're not making needs fast enough. Harvesting the tufts is, takes way too long. Well, what else can we do? Well, and this just came to me. We could always start chopping down the trees. What now you're thinking? That would speed things up. But no, but once you're running a business now, you have to do what's best for the company and your mama. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt to chop down a few trees you've made me so proud once you come here hey i love this guy no 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 please stop it please stop take that you stupid tree where do you think you're going excuse me sir i need to talk with your boss oh i'm sorry but mr warrensley's not seeing anyone right now 
yeah, we're all hell suing me, so, hey, keep your paws off me, give me a reason, shorty, hey, you broke your promise, you're better than this, you gotta stop, this is bad, have a nice day, bad, I'm not bad, I'm the good guy here, he just doesn't get it, do you think I'm bad, thank you, I mean, something good finally happens to me, and he just has to come and rain on my parade, what's his problem, see, yeah, bad, right? How bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad can I be? I'm just following my destiny. How bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad can I be? How bad can I possibly? Well, there's a principle in nature, principle in nature that almost every creature knows called survival of the fittest, survival of the fittest, and check it, this is how it goes. The animal that wins got to scratch and fight and claw and bite and punch, and the animal that doesn't, well, the animal that doesn't winds up someone else's la 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 lunch, munch, 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 munch. I'm just saying, how bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad can I be? I'm just following my destiny. How bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad can I be? How bad can I possibly be? There's a principle in business, principle in business that everybody does. It sounds more than people with the money. People with the money make this ever loving world go round. So I'm bigger in my company. I'm bigger in my factory. I'm bigger in my corporate size. Bigger, bigger. Everybody out there, take care of yours and me. I'll take care of mine, 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 mine. Shake that bottom line. Let me hear you say, smiley the smoke. Smiley the smoke. Sloppity slop. Sloppity slop. Complain all you want. It's never, ever, ever going to stop. Stop. Come on, how bad can I possibly be? How bad can I be? I'm just building the economy. How bad can I be? Just look at me petting this puppy. How bad can I be? A portion of proceeds goes to charity. How bad can I be? How bad can I possibly be? Let's see. All the customers are buying, and the money's multiplying, and the PR people are lying, and the lawyers are denying. Who cares if a few trees are dying? This is also gratifying. How bad? How bad can this possibly be? So, how are things? What are you doing here? Happy yet? You feel that hole deep down inside of you? Or do you still need more? Look. If you've got a problem with what I'm doing, why haven't you used your quote-unquote powers to stop me? I told you that's not how it works, right? I forgot you were a fraud. I need you to get out. Now, why? Do I make you uncomfortable? Remind you of the promises you made? The man you used to be? You know what? You can just shut your mustache. My conscience is clear. I have done nothing illegal. I have my rights, and I intend to keep on biggering and biggering and turning more truffle and cheese into sneeze and nothing is going to stop me well that's it the very last one that may stop you somebody sure made a bundle on that thing i wonder what the next million dollar invention is going to be yeah i wonder son you have let me down brett you are now my favorite child hey look i don't want any trouble and you won't get any not from them think say to you and you're hacking and smogging and gluffing they can't live here anymore, so I'm sending them off. Hopefully, they'll be able to find a better place out there somewhere. Melvin, Melvin, hey, Pipsqueak, hey. So this is really all your fault. You destroyed everything. Yes, and each day since the Lorax left, I've been here regretting everything I've done. Start staring at that word unless and wondering what it meant. But now I'm thinking, well, maybe you're the reason the Lorax left the word there. Me, why would he leave that for me? Is unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot nothing is going to get better it's not the last truffle tree do you need to plant it ted yeah but nobody cares about the trees anymore and make then make them care plant the seed in the middle of town where everyone can see change the way things are i know it may seem diff seem small and insignificant but it's not about what it is it's about what it can become that's not just a seed any more than you're just a boy i won't let you down i know hey audrey audrey ted what are you doing Meet me at my house. Wait, but my house, okay. Got to plant the seed. Okay, we're going to need water and uh, something to dig with. Um, what do I have, Ted? Mom, I'm busy. Mom, Theodore Williams, get down here right now. And I am not kidding with you, Ted. I would like you to meet Mr. O'Hare, the most powerful man in the world. There he is. Hello, Ted. Uh, hi. Isn't he clever, Mr. O'Hare? He knows his own name and everything. You know what I would love right now, Miss Mrs. Wiggins? A delicious cookie. Wonderful, Ted. He and I'll stay here and talk. Sure. Why don't you go ahead and adopt him? I'm just kidding. That was a joke. I was just joking. I'll get your cookie. I know you have it, Ted. So let's put an end to all this nonsense, shall we hand it over? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about, really. Well, then, I guess you wouldn't mind us checking your room. No, no, no. Morty McClurk find the seed no you can't go up there guys this is ridiculous stop hey no you can't come in my room find it find it what is going on here this doesn't involve you get back downstairs excuse me down there i don't care who you are you little crazy baby man get out of my house now this is outrageous fine sorry must have been a misunderstanding we'll leave now and my apologies ted 
you be safe mind telling me what's going on here the seed where is it seed where's grammy it's alive i remember you ted what audrey hey did you want to well okay ted what is this about it's about this wait 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 is that yes the last truffle is seed and you're going to help me plant it right in the middle of town where everyone can see it i could just kiss you right now we don't have time for that i don't know we have a little time but you know what let's go let's go let's just go forget about it maniac hey uh here it comes i'm going for it oh hello ted big scary blimp coming whoa you won't get away with this boy bam go faster you idiot yeah step on it ted whoa you're fired whoa ted look out nobody beats oh this is oh ted this is not good how is it doing whoa ho ho loser oh really oh no the seed get that seed hang on here we go grammy seriously how cool is your grandma no come on yeah that's right there it is watch out hey watch the road you meathead ah hey ow ow oh come on what the get get it unstuck get it unstuck bring it on teddy you don't have the guts ted grammy woohoo yes hey 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 it's mr o take that shorty okay we have to get this in the ground but where there's no dirt anywhere no grammy hey get out of here ah hey what see what did i tell you easy huh hey they broke o'hare's head what do you think you're doing, kid? Um, I'm looking for a place to plant a tree, a real one. Why would we need a tree? Exactly. Oh, man, folks, the last thing you want around here is trees. They're filthy. Spring that icky, nasty sap all over the place. They bring poisonous ants and stinging bees. Hey, ouch. Think about the kids, and I just thought, you know, they make leaves. You know that, right? And the leaves fall. They just fall. They just fall wherever they want. Come on, we know why you're really against trees because they produce fresh air for free. I am wounded, I have lied. It is not a lie, it's called photosynthesis. Come, she's making that up. It's a made up word, people. The Needville is perfect just the way it is. We don't need a trees, that boy has a seed. We need to stop him. Who's with me, come on, O'Hara's right. Seeds will ruin us all, stop it. Last chance, get handed over. Where do you think you're going? Come on, let's go. Get in, get in. Hey, stop that maniac. Excuse me, excuse me. Watch out, Ted. You're going to hit the wall. Yeah, I know. Wow, did you see that? Who does this kid think he is? Huh, I am Ted Wiggins, and I speak for the trees, and the fact is, things aren't perfect here in Fneedville, and they're only going to get worse unless we do something about it, unless we change our ways, and we start by planting this. Okay, come on. Now, everything is fine, right? I said we tell this kid what we think about that seed. People, come on, you. Get out there right now and get these people on my side or else you're fired go on tell them what you think you don't know me but my name's Sai. i'm just the o'hare delivery guy but it seems like trees might be worth a try so i say let it grow my name's dan and my name's rose our son wesley kind of glows and that's not good so we suppose we should let it grow let it grow let it grow you can't reap what you don't sow plant a seed inside the earth just one way to know it's worth let's celebrate the world's rebirth we say let it grow my name's mary and i am three i would really like to see a tree I say let it grow. I'm Grammy Norma. I'm old and I got gray hair, but I remember when trees were everywhere and no one had to pay for air, so I say let it grow. Let it grow like it did so long ago. It's just one tiny seed, but it's all we really need. It's time to change the life we lead. Time to let it grow. My name's O'Hare. I'm one of you. I live here in Thneedville, too. The things you say just might be true. Could be time to start anew and maybe change my point of view. Nah, I say let it die. Let it die. Let it die. Let it shrivel up and come on. Who's with me? Nobody. You greedy dirtbag. Let it grow. Let it grow. Let the love inside you show. Plant the seed inside the earth. Just one way to know it's worth. Let's celebrate the world tree birth. We say let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. You can't reap what you don't sow. It's just one tiny seed, but it's all we really need. It's time to banish all your greed. Imagine me both flowered and threed. Let this be our solemn creed. Thank you, Ted. We say let it grow in Needville. We say let it grow. It's a brand new dawn. We say let it grow in Needville. We say let it grow. It's a brand new dawn, peep. Dawn. You done good, bean pole. You done good. By the way, nice mustache. <laughs> I did it. 